the tennis channel, the Mexican Open. Okay, I'm told we have a Taylor Fritz. He is an American tennis player, and he's got an incident, a collision course with a moth of some sort. What happened? He's moved that point to his back pocket. Mona gave it back to Fritz. A couple of times now, he's lacked the field. A couple of times on the track. Very he's gentle here with the moth. He's just too heavy-handed. <laughs> yeah. okay. The moth doesn't really want to evacuate the premises. That was your first. There's some bug problems here. Oh, this is Manorino's strategy to wear him out with the rebellious moth. Could be here all night trying to chase that off the court. Oh! Oh! Oh, dear God! Oh, what a horror! What is that? Horror! What is that? Oh, horror! Yes, 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 yes. Bomani, are you intrigued? I gotta say, though, that dude with the tennis racket needs to get that ball girl's phone number, because otherwise he might live among gay sex his whole life since you're scared to kill a moth. Bobby, are you intrigued? Oh, see, see, I'm very intrigued because she just got the curse of the moth. You know, from now on, they're going to invade that tennis court, and they won't be able to play anymore. You don't push around a moth like that, and then you step on it and kill it like, you know, the moth doesn't have any rights, you know? She got every right in the world to win that court. You know, it's a free country, Mexico, you know? That moth can go any place she wants to go. It's not fair. Yeah, they're going to take it to court. Like when Dave Winfield hit that seagull that one time. 